In this video, we want to take a look at creating a survey style to do an RTK base rover survey. And I'm going to look at using a couple R series receivers. I've got an R10 here in the office I'm going to use for the base. I've got an R12i that I'm going to use for the rover. And we're going to set those up to use the internal radios to communicate between the two. This video is being made with Trimble Access 2023.10. So if you have a different version of Access, some of the settings may look a little bit different, but this still ought to get you pretty close. So first thing we're going to do is go to the menu at the top left, scroll down to settings, and we'll take a look at our survey styles. So tap on survey styles. Trimble already has an RTK survey style built in. Now you could create a new one down at the bottom, but the RTK survey style has uh, pretty much everything we need, we're just going to have to tweak it to match our receivers a little bit. So I'll just use my arrow keys on the keyboard to scroll down to RTK and hit the edit button there. We're going to start off looking at our rover options. So we'll tap rover options at the top of the list. The survey type we're going to use is RTK. We use CMRX for our broadcast format. In this case, I am using an R12i internal for my rover. If you're using something different, just tap the drop down arrow there and choose your receiver out of the list. I am going to use measure two of bottom of quick release since I'm using an R12i internal. Again, if you're using a different receiver and you wanted to use bottom of antenna mount or something like that, you can use the drop down arrow to choose the proper measure two surface. For this uh, example, I will be using a fixed height pole, so I'll go ahead and type in. 2M because I'm using a two meter pole. Serial number number is optional. You don't have to put that in, but you can if you want to. I'll scroll down to the tilt functions. Now, depending on the receiver you're using, you may not have tilt functions, right? R12i does have tilt compensation, has an e-bubble. You can use it with the AR viewer. You may see something a little bit different if you're not using a 12i, but just go ahead and set this up for how you want to view your particular receiver. In this case, I do want to use the IMU tilt compensation, and I do want to be able to see the e-bubble on the screen if I want to. So I'll leave those checked, but I'm not using an AR viewer, so I will uncheck that box. Scroll down a little bit more. The next section, we have our station index. Now, a station index is just a number between 0 and 31 that the base station can broadcast out, and it just lets you know that you're looking at your base when you see the number that's programmed in there. So for the rover, we could either program the number in that the base is putting out, or if we leave it at any, we'll see any station indexes that are out there and we can just choose our right number. So for this example, I'll just leave it at any. If you don't wanna see that station index pop up, you can uncheck the box for prompt for station index. I'm gonna leave it just in case there's other radios broadcasting in the area and they happen to be on the same frequency that I'm on. I can choose my station index and make sure I'm on the right base station. We'll leave the satellite differential off since we're using RTK for our corrections. Our elevation mask will be 10 degrees. P dot's going to be 6.0. Scroll down to the GNSS signal tracking, and I'm going to check all the boxes under signal tracking. Now, depending on where you are in the world, you might not get all these signals, but if you check them all, then you know, you're not going to have the chance of missing out on anything that you could use, right? So just go ahead and check them all. Scroll down. I'll leave my roving precision auto tolerance set to yes. And then you can check or uncheck the XFIL box. What XFIL does is if you were to lose radio signal during your survey, XFIL is going to use the Trimble RTX satellites to keep giving you corrections and allow you to survey for a couple of minutes. Okay, so you can check or uncheck depending on how you want to run your survey. I'm going to leave that box checked for now. Tap accept down at the bottom right. And now we'll take a look at our rover data link. Now you'll need to make sure that you've got your, your rover turned on and within Bluetooth range here, because we're going to look at the radio and make sure it's programmed the way we want it. So we'll tap rover data link. Right now, my, my, uh, both my receivers are on and my data collector is connected up to the base station. So at the bottom, it says switch to rover. If yours is already connected to your rover, you'll just see connect there. But in this case, I need to switch over to the rover. So I'll click that and the software will go ahead and connect up to the R12i via Bluetooth. So once my data collector connects up to the rover via Bluetooth, we'll have a connect option down at the bottom of the screen. So tap connect, and that's gonna connect up to the radio and let us look at how it's programmed and set up right now. We do want it at rover for the operating mode. 
choose the frequency that you want to use out of the list that's programmed into your receiver. And then set your base radio mode. For this, I recommend TrimTalk V1 at 4800 BPS. So then we'll tap accept. And be sure to write down that frequency and that broadcast format in baud rate because we're going to need to match the rover or the base radio up to that later on. So then we'll accept that. Now we'll take a look at our base options. We're going to use RTK at the base again, CMRX for our broadcast format. I am using an R10 for this example of my base, so I'll tap that and go to R10 internal. Again, I'm going to measure to the bottom of quick release. You can go ahead and put your antenna height in if you're using a fixed height tripod at the base. If you're using a regular tripod with a tri bracket and, and an adapter, I would recommend leaving that blank because the height's going to be different every time, right? But if you are using a fixed height, you can go ahead and program that in. I'm using a two meter uh, tripod, so I'll just go ahead and set that. Serial number is optional again. You can put it in there if you want, but you don't have to. We'll scroll down. Here is that station index. Again, that's a number between 0 and 31 that the base is going to broadcast and allows you to see it from the rover and make sure that you're connecting up to the right base. <clears throat> I'm going to set mine at 13. Again, 0 to 31. You can use elevation mask at 10. And then under GPS signal tracking, I want to go ahead and check everything just like with the rover. Again, you might not get it all depending on where you are, but if you have it all checked, you won't miss out on anything. So then we'll tap, tap accept down at the bottom right and go back over to base data link and set the radio up on the base station. So now since I was connected up to the rover earlier, I need to switch back over to the base station and Trimble Access will switch over to the base on Bluetooth and then I can hit the connect button at the bottom. I am using radio and receiver internal again, so I can hit connect there. Now my base radio does need to be set to base mode, so make sure it's on base. Make sure the frequency is the same as it was on the rover. Those have to match. And then make sure the base radio mode and baud rate is the same as well. So trim top V1 at 4800, the frequency and the base radio mode match the rover. So the two will talk to each other. I'm not using any repeaters. I'm not using channel sharing and I'm not going to enable a station ID there. I do want my transmit power level to two watts so I can accept that. And that's going to go ahead and program my base radio so it matches my rover and the two will talk to each other. So then I can accept down here at the bottom. Now there's other things that you could go through and set up depending on how you want to customize your own survey style. But the rover options, rover data link, base options, and base data link are the four things that have to be set up to get your uh, base rover survey going between a couple of R-series receivers with internal radio. So at this point, I'm just going to hit the store button, hit escape, and now I'm ready to start a base rover survey up.